And Hanoi's been there now for two, two years. years. Okay, and he comes back to visit Thailand every now and then. So it's nice to have him in this afternoon as a bit of a treat. Interesting that he came in to see Mr. Taylor. Do you know Mr. Taylor? Yeah. Mr. Taylor is over here, uh, videoing. Came in to see Mr. Taylor and a few other people at Pat and that. Interestingly enough, Mr. Taylor said, we're talking about coding. So Hanoi said, cool, that's something that he's very interested in. And he walked in this afternoon and the first thing he said was, I wish someone taught me how to do this when I was in year six. Very exciting and great to have him here this afternoon. So what he's going to show us is some practical applications on coding, how to use it, and where it goes from what you're doing, which is online programming and coding. Okay? Lots of fun toys and bits and pieces for you to see up here this afternoon, and we can do some practical application of that. Okay? So, it's all about Hanoi this afternoon for the last 10 or 15 minutes, so that you have an experience that no other year sixes have got. This is a one-off, okay, a bit special, and the year eight here as well. I'm not so confident with you sitting up there on top of those covers. Can you actually get down and sit a little bit lower? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, not a good standard for the year six of the afternoon. So, let's have a big round of applause for Hanoi. Thank you. Uh, so, hi everyone, so as you know, my name is Hanoi, and I um, graduated from Padana. Uh, back when I was your age, Padana did not look like this, it was a lot smaller. You guys have all these, one I come back and I don't really recognize the school sometimes. Um, and um, what I'm studying right now, uh, how, many, how many of you guys play an instrument? Great. How many of you guys like science? Awesome. So I like these two subjects too, and I'm currently studying both physics and music. And um, I like to combine these things together. And one of the best ways to combine these things together is actually to learn how to code. So I came in today and I saw you guys. When I was back in the year six, when I was back in year six, I had no idea how to code. And I actually did not learn how to code until a year ago. You guys are really, really lucky you guys are starting this early. And I wanted to show you guys today some of the things that you can do, some of the really cool things that you can do um, with the coding that you're learning right now. So I have this little device here. Um, looks like a, looks like a what, what, what does this look like to you guys? It looks like a video game controller. Um, but what I can do is um, I can play sounds with this and you can do some really interesting things. So, I don't know if I do this, can you guys see? Yeah, I can see. I'm going to put it down with this, you can see at the back? No. You might want to do another I can do this, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so, let's play a little musical. Tell these you know little LED things to do 
what I want them to do. Uh, so once I learn how to do that, then this is pretty cool because I can make this device a lot better and make this device and any other device that I come across do very interesting things and do things that I want them to do using um, code. Uh, so for this next example, can I have four volunteers come to the stage? All right, let's have you. Uh, you there in front. You there, right there. Yep, you, 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 and you. Cool. Okay, so um, what I've done is I'm not going to play, play around with this, but um, I want you to hold this. Don't worry, it's not going to shut. I want you to hold the crocodile clip. Make sure you're holding the crocodile clip. Um, I want you to hold this. Make sure you hold the crocodile clip part. All right. Yep, and I want you to hold that. And I want you to turn around that way. Okay. And I want you to hold your, your hands out. Uh, like this. So hold 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 the crocodile clip. So make sure you're holding the crocodile clip like that. And then hold your other hand out like this. Oops, that's not working. <laughs> so yeah, all right. So this is a lot cooler. So this thing I had I have it set up such that if I press a button, it makes a sound. But when I wrote my own code, I told this little thing right here that I want this to do the same thing as this thing, except do it with your sixes, not buttons. So I can go. This device thought it was really cool, made Gangnam Style sound really weird and awesome, and I said, well, I want to make this device a bit better. Um, so I learned how to code, I put my code, instead of just keeping it onto the computer, I sent the code into this little device, had the device control things like light bulbs, had the device control things like LEDs, made pretty colors out of it. Then I took it a step further and wrote more code and sent that code into this little device here, and then told it to basically pick up a six, basically know um, when I'm tapping your hands, and then have that control uh, the music software. And as you said, it's pretty cool, right? You can, have pe you can tap people, you can tap bananas, you can tap anything, and you can make sound out of it. Um, so yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I've shown you guys some cool practical applications about what you can do, what you're learning right now. Um, this is your first stepping stone. You guys should keep coding, because coding is really cool, and you can take all these uh, things in the real world and do some really awesome things out of it, like making beats by tapping your awesome your sixes. Right, thank you. <laughs>